Mm -hmm. Where do we pick up with Ian? So we pick up, um, you know, we got to pick up the pieces with Ian. You know, he made this bad, he got to lay in it. So the transition that I love between season one and season two is that, you know, in season one, Ian is this big dreamer. You know, he's got this great idea to rekindle old love flame. Um, he got his idea of, you know, bringing a piece of Paris back to Harlem and introducing this French fine, you know, this fine French cuisine, uh, you know, through his restaurant in Harlem. And these are great ideas to have. And, you know, he's dreaming big. And then in season two, you know, we got to see him, you know, deal with the repercussions of this. You know, he he rekindled his love, but now what does it mean for his current, you know, his current fiance and relationship? You know, he's got to be a man enough to, to deal with that responsibly. And then the same thing with his, uh, you know, his dream of, of introducing that restaurant. You know, he succeeded, business is doing well, but now he's got to figure out, you know, what it means to be part of the gentrification problem that his, that his uh, community is seeing. So again, you know, I love the fact that, you know, in season two, Ian has to grow into a man. That's right. And <laughs> things aren't easy on the relationship. And too, mm -hmm. with everything he's got going on, but there is such a connection that lingers between him and Camille. What do you think it is that continues to attract them? I think that, um, you know, the fact that they have unfinished business, you know, yeah, that's that's definitely his one true love. And I feel like, you know, deep down, he feels like they never gave it a real, a real shot, you know, and it's, it's, it's one thing to be in a relationship when you're not... Um, you know, when you're not as mature as you are as an adult and you haven't experienced those type of things, it's a different a different experience to be in that type of relationship with, you know, both feet in, fully committed, having a higher emotional IQ and, you know, doing it as an adult. So we get a chance to actually see them really give it a, a real shot. And I feel like because they haven't done that, it's one of the reasons why he keeps going back to her. I think every episode is edge of your seat watching, but are there certain episodes this season you feel like fans should keep an eye out for? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think um, I think the last episode, not to have to make, make y'all wait to the end, <laughs> but I think the last episode you definitely need to watch out for because it kind of just encompasses everything that we were talking about just in terms of um, um, growing into your adulthood, taking on these responsibilities of some of the, some of the choices that you wanted to make, and just the idea that not everything ends the way you hope it would end. And, you, and then what does that mean? You know, is a loss really a loss or does it end up being a lesson? You know, so I can't wait for y'all to end up looking at uh, episode eight for sure. What do you think it is about Harlem that just continues to make it such a fan favorite series? I think, you know, there's a few things. One of the things I think makes that makes it a, a fan favorite series is just, um, you know, seeing seeing what Harlem really is, you know, um, <clears throat> yeah, on the surface, you look at the map, it's a location, but as you dive inside this story, you see how rich it is with our culture and how much pride we take in it. And the fact that it's being gentrified, you know, we fight for it extra hard to hold on to it. Um, and then, you know, even underneath the surface of the location, just as, uh, just as, as a culture, as black people, you know, um, and definitely highlighted by the black women in this show, um, <clears throat> you know, there's, we're, there's just such a complexity with us. You know, it's not just, just like, just like all humans, you know, we're not one note. And to be able to see us be strong, but also vulnerable in, in certain moments, you know, I feel like it creates a juxtaposition that any human can really empathize with. Well said. Well, thank you again so much for taking some time to talk to me. It's a great season ahead and I can't <laughs> wait for people to check it out. Three days. Hey, three days is a countdown. I appreciate you. <laughs> all right. Bye, Tyler. All right. See you. <clears throat>